the message I try to get out is, what's the population of the world in terms of gender? Uh, why is it then if 51% are women, do we not have 51% of the people in leadership roles be women? That it doesn't, it doesn't compute for me personally. And I, I have to admit, I'm biased. I'm married to a wonderful woman. Uh, I have an incredible daughter and a son, and then I have three granddaughters. So, so I'm looking out for my granddaughters. It's personal for me. I, you know, I don't have grandsons to look out for, so somebody with grandsons, you're on your own. You, you, <laughs> you take care of the guys, I'm taking care of my granddaughters. But, I, but in all seriousness, I look at what's being done in other places of the world that are not as good as we are in terms of human rights. UAE is my, my favorite example, and you and I both know Sarah. Uh, you know, UAE is preparing a, a Mars mission right now, and she complains about diversity because 90% of her science team are women. Uh, help me understand this. You know, we are the most powerful, most educated, most whatever else you want to call it, nation in the world, so why do we believe that we can compete and continue to excel if we want to leave 50% of the population behind. It's a no-brainer to me. We've got to do better. 